Do you want to shoot a vlog now? I really want to shoot a vlog now. Hey everybody, Neil McNeil here. And Becca Canote, and welcome back to another episode of Geeking Out. This week we want to talk about one of our recent obsessions. We just can't let it go. It is Disney's amazing film, Frozen. Strong female archetypes. Singing trolls that made me kind of get over my thing about trolls. I don't like trolls. But in addition to being the smash hit musical star and the ever beautiful Idina Menzel. And, and Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell. Frozen is definitely different as Disney movies go. And there's been a lot of talk about it being a really empowering film about sisters and about female, you know, strength and empowerment and not being a typical princess story about just meeting that guy and falling in love and him being the one forever. Yeah, Disney's Frozen is an amazing allegory for all of those things, but we have to take into account the fact that it's an allegory for coming out of the closet. Oh, so yeah. From the film's start, you get a sense that there's something off with Elsa's character. There's something a little strange about her, and within a few minutes of the movie starting, you find out that she has these magical powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very quickly you get the understanding that, uh, much like the X-Men, this is something that was in Elsa's genes. Like, yep. she was born with this, and while the trolls ask if it's a curse or if she was born with it... The parents do confirm that she was born with these magical powers. There's nothing that they can do to stop it, and there's no way that they can take this away from her. After she endangers her sister's life with her powers, the parents do tell her that you need to conceal these powers, keep it hidden from the rest of the world, and lock her away in a tower, much like Rapunzel, only because of her powers, they're separating her from society. She has to be, like she says, the good girl that she's always meant to be to run the kingdom of Arendelle and be that picture of what a young queen should be, which is not freezing your sister. We should also point out that this is the first Disney queen in a line of princesses who not only inherited the throne by herself, but didn't need no man to. Now, while Elsa's sexuality is never explicitly stated within the confines of the movie Frozen, we do get a sense that Anna is looking for her Prince Charming, someone she to run off is. with. Elsa, however... Elsa no, ain't got no time for that. She ain't got no time for that. She they don't has say, magical powers to deal with, just like Black Widow in The Avengers, as Skylar Johansson can be quoted, Natasha Romanoff don't got no time for a love story because she's got Avenger to do. Yeah, exactly. Elsa don't got no time. Elsa's got some no queening to do all over the place, and she doesn't even express an interest in finding a husband to rule the kingdom with her. Like so many people struggling with any kind of, of hidden desire or hidden pain about their own identity, it, it's not a concern of her of can she find love? Does she deserve to have love? Does she deserve to have a king or a queen if that's how, you know, it she is wants for to her? She just has to be Elsa, and yeah. until we really get to the whole beautiful, amazing mountain let it go scene, there's no concern about it at all because Elsa has to figure out how to like Elsa before anything else can happen. Exactly, she can't open herself up and confess her powers to anybody because she's afraid of what they're gonna think of her. She has exactly. to accept them for herself mm -hmm. before she can open up to anybody else in the world. And you did mention that Let It Go is probably one of the most liberating scenes in any Disney oh. movie to this day, and I think it's going to be an amazing queer anthem for the next several decades. I myself have considered doing a drag performance or two to that song already, so if you want to see me as drag Elsa one of these days, leave a comment below. But the lyrics of the song are so true and so beautiful to anybody who's struggling with these inner thoughts. You're told to conceal it, you're told not to feel these things, you just have to let it all go. Well, that's what she does. She Lies climbs it. up a mountain and throws her cape into the wind. No capes. And with that, the movie sets off into an amazing spiral of Anna trying to reclaim her sister's love and ultimately accept her sister. Exactly. For who she is. It, it, it really, the whole movie is, a, is about not only accepting yourself and finding true love for who you are, but recognizing that other people, regardless of anything in, in your life and who, what you might feel about yourself, can still love you unconditionally. Anna, no matter what, is always steadfastly there for Elsa. Oh yeah. Kristoff is steadfastly there for Anna. Elsa and Anna, regardless of anything, because he's just a good dude. Yeah. It's also played by the out and proud Jonathan Groff. We oh, haven't Jonathan. even touched on that yet. Casting an out and proud actor in a role of a Disney princess's love interest mm -hmm speaks volumes to the acceptance that Disney is looking to spread. So the role of acceptance in Disney's Frozen has been amazing, and I cannot wait to see what they do with possibly Frozen 2. Freeze harder. Anybody who's ever been discriminated against, bullied, mm -hmm. made fun of for who they are and can't control, they relate to this movie on a deep emotional level, and that speaks volumes. If you haven't seen Disney's Frozen yet, check it out. We guarantee that you will love the crap out of it. It's on DVD this week. Pick it up, tell us what you think, and pray for a Frozen 2. If you have any particular affinity with Frozen or anything that you want to point out to us that you loved about 
the highest grossing animated film of all time? Let us know in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it but don't have anything to say. Check out our personal channels and the ever unstoppable Reading with Tiger Monkey and Friends over on James Run Isaac's personal channel and we will see you all in two weeks. Let it go, let, let it go. go, I'll catch you later nerds.